Good morning. We made it to Saturday. Um, as we have um, a busy week, um, we may be getting groceries today or got them yesterday. And we're putting them on the shelves. We're putting them in the shelves in the fridge. We're putting them in the shelves in the cabinet, the pantries, um, and all this. And then sometimes we we bought too much. We bought, and we're like, where, where are we going to put all this stuff? We have too much stuff. Um, and, and, and a theme in my office this week was we have too many things on our shelves of our heart. And while we're, we're trying to work through and, and figure out what, what the problem is, um, we keep going back to, there's no space in people's hearts. There's no space in your heart because we've shoved it full of crap. We've shoved it full of earthly opinions. We've shoved it full of words that were said about us, um, bitterness, anger. And so we've filled it with all of the stuff that we put in there, nothing that he put in there. And so we're not getting everything that we can from him because we don't have no room. And so it's like, do heart surgery on me, circumcise my heart, take out all the dead stuff so I don't have to be mad anymore. So I don't have to live this, this life of being angry and hurt and lack and all these different things. And it, and it brings me to Psalms 4, where it says, Fill my heart with joy when their grain and new wine are abound. Fill my heart with joy. But he can't do that if you have bitterness, resentment, hate. All these things that you've put on your shelves. And, and the God that we serve want to give you love, joy, and peace. He's like, I don't have anywhere to put it. And then so as we go through today, I want you to clean your shelves off. Literally clean them off though. Don't sweep them under the rug. Don't put them on a different shelf. Get, get it out of your pantry. Get it out your heart. And that way you can be filled with that joy and that peace that only he can give you because he is our rock. He is our foundation. He is the only thing that is never going to change. If you're looking for love, joy, peace from humans, from your job, from your husband, from your kids, you will be disappointed every day because we are like the winds. Our, our mood, our temperament, it changes every day. And so you have to lean into the one that is the true foundation. He is the rock. He is never going to change. He was the same with Moses, Aaron, and today he never changes. And so why, why not lean into something that is the firm foundation? Um, and he's willing to give you that love and that joy. But you, again, you have to choose him. And once you get rid of all that clutter, and I mean, who doesn't love a clean house? Who doesn't leave a, a clean countertop and, and completely organized uh, with all the clear bins and all the things? And that way you can see what you, what you have, what you lack. And that way you can fill up your shelves with all the good stuff. Get rid of all the candy, get rid of all the carbs, get rid of all the things and fill it up with, with the nutrition from, from God. Um, so I hope this encourages you today. Um, and as we go through Sunday, um, we'll have clean hearts ready to receive his joy and love. Have a great day.